Hey guys, it's Virginia at Ryden's Room here to do my new review for the latest Star Wars New Jedi Order book that I just finished a couple of hours ago. This is Agents of Chaos Part 2 Jedi Eclipse. And this is a, yeah, it's an okay book. So before I start, spoiler warning again, I'd always discuss up to this part of the New Jedi Order. I've not read anything beyond it. Um, so really, it's just mainly the NGO series, but I might mention anything that comes for it, like Rogue Squadron, Heir to the Empire, Hand of Thorn Geology. So I probably won't, but just a like, usual warning about that. Same for the comments. So if anyone in the comments, you know, great, but, but please don't discuss anything that comes after. Okay, so on to the book. Now, I've got to say, it's probably the first book I wasn't that impressed with. I don't know if my standards are too high because James Lucino has always been my favourite Star Wars author. Tim Sands great, but James Lucino wrote the ones that I read first, Darth Plagueis, etc. And I just think he's the better author. Although they're both great, both like two of the best. But yeah, I don't know what it was. I just didn't enjoy this book all that much. Didn't mind that it was a part two because I like the previous two-parter. Um, the second and third set in the series. Absolutely fine. I just, I don't know, he did a good job. Uh, Han Solo is still main character, but they've got a bit more going on than just Han. Um, but yeah, he seems to be dealing with his problems. I'm hoping that's like the end of his grief over Chewbacca and he's able to become like, you know, a family man again. You know, it, it was good. You know, he threw himself right into the fight, went to save his friends who he owed. And you no, know, he did all that, which was pretty cool. Um, usual stuff going for the extra characters. Uh, Luke barely did anything, which is a bit of a shame. He's got doubts about how clearly how far he should go. You know, can you use the full power of the Force without it turning you to the dark side? And then I think Luke's holding back, but this is something that seems to be coming up in these books. Holding back is not a good idea. <laughs> Obviously, the Sith would have no problems doing anything to defeat the Yuuzhan Vong and. Some of the Luke students know the score clearly. There's a bit towards the end, a couple of the Jedi no issues cutting down the Yuuzhan Vong warriors. You know they will, they're going to do what they've got to do. But then you have got Jason Solo, who's still got his doubts. He clearly doesn't. I say I wondered. Yeah, he doesn't want to go too far. He doesn't really want to be a warrior at all. I think it's building to a moment where he does go too far. Maybe he's just grappling with some dark side inside him that he doesn't realise, and if he embraces it, it could turn him to the dark side who knows uh, with Anakin you know his younger brothers all for, all for it he's not obviously a mass murder or anything but he understands what Jedi got to do uh, so yeah main part of their story really is that they go to Center Point Station and I can see why the Han Solo Corelli trilogy was re recommended to read before this because that comes back up Han's pretty twisted cousin returns and of course Center Point Station is about turning it into a weapon use it just for defense or to slaughter everything in your path and yeah, Anakin wants to do it, but eventually changes his mind. But then Han Solo's cousin, of course, takes the shot himself and commits mass murder. But they do defeat the Yuuzhan Vong. Um, obviously, it's, it's not over. It's just another story they're done with. But no, I'm wondering, really, what happens next? I mean, I didn't realise at the start of this book that a year has actually passed since the very beginning. I mean, it makes sense. Obviously, Han hasn't gone for a year during this series, probably just a couple of months or so. But yeah, there has to be a lot of travelling. It's not like a bad TV show where you can just instantly teleport yourself to one end of the galaxy. It does take time in with high, hyperspace travel. So it makes sense, but I didn't realise it was actually in a year had passed. I thought maybe more like six months. But I just wonder how much time is really going to pass in the end. All the books, they have their timeline in, but they don't really say exactly how much time passes between every single one. You've got the obvious ones, like episodes two to three, three years, episodes four to five, three years. But you don't really get that you get like new Jedi order series but i'm sure that includes other books in that series as well because it's covering what was it 25 years after battle you have into i think 35 so i don't know if this series is going to cover 10 years or other books in this era but like before legacy of force comes more we'll see but yeah overall it was okay luke hasn't done enough i hope that can be fixed in the next book balance point i'll be reading that one soon enough probably not immediately i tend to have a bit of a brief between stars books because there's so many bo katan pop fun girl on top and i'll just also show you my latest gift valentine's day lego star wars this is of course an amazing episode of the clone wars um it's probably should have spoiler warning but i'm sure people know what happens in clone wars season seven it's pretty much referenced in the ahsoka book as well but it does look pretty cool and it for the terrible lighting here it's not the best in here still <laughs> probably won't be to like, get yeah, a laptop rather than a phone for these but yeah it's the Darth Maul Ahsoka fight in Clone Wars Season 7 uh, slash Ahsoka book I guess and um, we're Bogotan Pop Fungo I do like these some people don't like the Pop Fungos but they're doing something right uh, it's easily the biggest toy at the moment and it's gonna be like that for years 
So anyway, I didn't really want to go too much time on this. I know some of my reviews have really rambled on my Phantom Menace one before. <laughs> it came a bit of an introduction and general discussion and easily doubled the length. So I want to keep this as short as possible, really. But yeah, overall, enjoyed it. You know, Leia's still part of Saving Refugees, which is great. Jaina's off with Rogue Squadron. Yeah, she doesn't really do too much either, which is a shame. Anakin and Jason are at Center Point Station trying to decide how to use this and if it's the right thing for a Jedi to do. Again, interesting seeing how Jason feels about this whole thing. You know, does he give in to like the full power of the Force? When does he start realizing that you've got to attack as part of defense, etc.? I'm sure some have better people than me can explain all this far better. But I'm liking what they're getting to. You know, Jason feels very pacifist like, but no, they're not going to be able to stay like that forever. We'll see. And so, yeah, Han. Yeah, saves, goes off after his friends have been taken prisoner. He did what he said he wanted to do, and he does. So basically, Han clearly trying to throw himself into things to get over what's happened. Yeah, he owes on his mentor who's been taken prisoner, so he goes off after him. That was a good storyline. You've got these and Vong doing the usual thing, you know, massacring peoples of planets. One of Luke's Jedi tries to stop them from the inside and fails, which is a bit of a shame. Because he's quite a good character, especially after he like, changed recently. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing where it all goes. Hopefully next one, more of Luke and Mara. Maybe a bit more of Rogue Squadron, just because they haven't really done too much, really. And yeah, we'll see. Next book, Balance Point by Kathy Tyres. I don't think I've read anything of hers. I don't know if she's any st written Star Wars books I've read, but I'm looking forward to it. But not immediately. Read a couple other books first, got some more. James Bond and Doctor Who books get through, and I've just ordered the fifth Gears of War, uh, the Gears of War book from like the new era Gears of War four and five. But I'll just be at this enough, and the review will be up soon for the next, when I get there, or even other, um, like Attack of the Clones review. Watch whatever I watch next might do. We'll see. And I, I, I do want to do a Last of Us one about Joel's decision at the end of that game. So we'll see. But till next time, bye.